Hi Shinda. Hi Shinda. Today, I am getting water from the fridge because I'm going to be talking a lot. اليوم جهزت لكم كل الكاميرات all the cameras that I use in vlogging, pictures, everything you can imagine, everything that I have my hands on, anything in my possession that has been used by me. I will explain to you guys today. Lena, I have a pretty good camera collection. I've been using cameras, I've been vlogging, I've been into photography. Like since I was like six when I first bought my first camera in like Toys R Us. It was like pink and purple. So my obsession has started at an early age. And just recently I got into different types of cameras. Usually I was more straightforward into just Sony, Canon with an icon. And I'm still into the same ones, but I'm more into like film now. And still using Canon and Nikon and Tony, but now I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get deep into how to use these cameras. I always get questions about how to use the cameras that I have. Yeah, and for example, the vlog camera that I use, I always get questions in if is it good or not? How's the quality? How do I use it? What setting do you use it on? I get so many, so many questions about the vlog camera because the quality is so good. I get so many questions about my G7X because a lot of you want to buy it. It's sold out everywhere, it's trending. But today I'm gonna tell you about where I get my cameras because you wanna make sure you get your cameras from a trusted place and that quality means a lot when it comes to cameras. Not just quality, but also the condition that they're in everything there's a lot that has to do with the quality of the camera the type of camera you want maybe the camera is not going to suit the things you want the lenses there's a lot that goes into cameras and photography i'm going to explain to you today what each camera does what you would use it for where to get it and how i use it yeah any for example i know a lot of you ask me about the g7x setting that i use and the setting that i use for my sony zv1 which is my vlogging camera but today we're gonna get into that but let me stop talking so much about nothing and get into the details which is why you guys are here let's start off with the one that i use the most which is the one that i'm filming on right now that camera is the sony zv1 it is the older version of the new one which is the Z sony zv1 f i'm pretty sure if i'm not wrong yeah, i'm not mistaken the new one has an interchangeable lens that means you can change the lens to a wider lens or whatever lens you want to put on the older one which is the one that i have is a set lens you have zoom in zoom out that's about it best the lens itself has such an amazing quality i will show you how close i can get and that's about it. What are the pros of having this camera? This camera, the quality is so worth its price. The size, the size is amazing. You can take this camera anywhere with you, whether it's to a trip you wanna get away to and don't wanna get something heavy with you, whether you are vlogging every day like me, this is the perfect vlog camera and the price is so worth it because I've taken pictures with this camera. I've recorded TikToks, vlogs, everything you can think of. The quality makes it worth every single the size of the camera is the same size as a deck of cards but if you want to like measure that out and what it would look like it's literally it literally fits my pocket it fits every single bag that i have but i've had no issue at all taking it anywhere we all know that this camera is designed for vloggers like me the camera is so worth it when it comes to vlogging it makes it easy because i can flip the screen towards me i can see what i look like it is a touch screen camera it's just like using your phone i can press record play i can edit i I can see the mic levels i can see what settings i have the camera on there's so many things on the screen that help me while i'm vlogging as well as the fact that the camera has autofocus with just a button there is a button on the camera where i can have it focus on one thing and blur the background or just have it clear it gives you that portrait clean aesthetic look yani it makes you feel like you're recording with professional equipment from how high the quality is yani i've recorded my vlogs with so many different cameras and this one is by far my favorite because not only does it make a blur for the background if you want that it also helps with the lighting the lighting adjustments on this camera are amazing yani I, I can film in any lighting and i will look good in every lighting because the exposure and the settings the automatic settings in this camera are so good that I don't even have to edit what I want it to look like on the camera. It just automatically sets the lighting. And if I change right now where I'm sitting, you're going to see it turn to exactly what it kind of looked like while I was sitting here. This gives it such a perfect tone for such a good quality. Of course, every vlogger needs a camera with a good microphone. This one does have a built-in microphone, but I do recommend, not just for this camera, any vlogging camera that you do buy an extra microphone, 
I do have a mic on right now. You can't see it, but I prefer it 100% because the normal microphone will pick up surrounding sounds. This mic is directly at me, so you just get my voice. Like, all the other background noises, I have them canceled out, which is the best thing. Because as a vlogger, I am out 24-7 around so many noises. But you don't want to hear all of that. Like, right now, if I didn't have this, you'd probably hear the AC, the pool, and يعني, the hafin, everything around me. Not only is the quality amazing, it is also Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connected. There is an app for the Sony ZV-1 where I can look at the camera screen from my phone and press record and download directly on my phone through Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, so I can be out. And if I take pictures with it, I can, down I can download those pictures right on the spot by opening up the app and connecting to Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, to the camera and downloading. The best part about this is it's all wireless since it's Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connecting. Not only does it have blurring, good quality, audio, and Bluetooth, this also has a built-in stability. I've tried other cameras for vlogging, but when I move a lot, you can tell that I'm moving, you can tell that I'm shaking. The Sony ZV-1 has a built-in stability. It's one of the things that made me buy it, that when I'm recording and shaking, it stabilizes the video itself. So you won't have an issue if your hands are shaky, I need to, with like recording. It definitely helps keep your footage smooth, reduces a lot of noises and I've never had an issue where one of my videos I've taken with this camera is like shaky at all. Even my friends that I have record me when the cam when they're like and their hands are usually like shaky you can't tell at all because the stabilizing in this camera is just my favorite thing that made me most excited about getting this camera is the fact that it can focus and autofocus on things how close how far so fast what i mean by that is if i go like this right now it's gonna focus on my hand and defocus the background which is so cool by the way when i first bought it and have that that shape let me show you with my other camera the focusing thing see it focuses on this so well and the focus is so clear and it just goes right back which is a must when you're vlogging because I'm gonna be out and walking and I'm gonna be like, oh my god, look at this matcha that I got from this place. It's so good. And I want it to focus back on me because editing that out is gonna be so annoying for this vlogging camera for vloggers or for content creators. Do I recommend? Yes, I do. Is it worth the investment? Worth every single thing you spend on it. Another setting on this camera which I really really appreciate is slow motion and the time lapse effect. I've always recorded time lapse with my iPad but when I found out that I could do it with this camera that saved me so much time because it, it, it saved me so much time in the sense in that it gives me the quality I want while doing a video that I want. Like sometimes I want to record time lapse. Uh, for example, let's say me studying. I know there's a lot of YouTubers that record themselves like studying in time lapse and the quality could be better uh, because they film with like their phone or their iPad and it always has that blurry thing for some reason in time lapse. I don't know why. This, like imagine this quality in a time lapse, that's just, this camera makes everything easier for you, whether you want to add a mic, whether you want to add lighting, it has a piece on each side of it for you to add something, I've added lighting, I've added microphones, I've added so many things, you want to add a handle and a little bracelet charm, you can do that. This is such an easy to use beginner friendly camera, I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for a content creation vlogging camera, more vlogging videos friendly. Photography, not so much. The pictures are nice, best. The the automatic settings are not as good as they are with the videos. For photography, maybe prefer another camera. Videos, 100% would go for this camera. What are the requirements for this camera? You just need an SD card, and what I said would make it better is definitely a microphone, 100%. And definitely lighting if you can add that on top. Um, unless you're like vlogging and you don't want that lighting. Like I prefer just to have natural light wherever I'm going because I feel like that is more vlog, more authentic, you know? I don't need to be carrying a lighting with me everywhere. The next camera we're talking about is the one that I am in love with. This one has been my obsession for a while. This camera has gotten everyone to fall in love with it so easily. It's gone trendy so fast, so popular, sold out everywhere. Like, I'm pretty sure if you search it up anywhere, you're not going to be able to find it for a while. It's the G7X, Canon G7X. This camera is a camera of many talents. When I tell you that I hate pictures in flash, but this camera makes me love it, I mean it. Okay, this camera, the screen is outward. You can go out like this and back in, or you can flip it around when you're vlogging. This is also a very popular vlogging camera, by the way. But right now, it is more popular for its picture-taking abilities rather than its filming abilities. As I was saying, just like the Sony ZV-1, it is a touchscreen camera. It is easy to use. I can pick what I want. Let me turn it on and show you guys. It is touchscreen. I can pick the focus I want. 
I can also pick the settings I want. You can see here at the top of the screen, there are settings that I can play with, especially when I'm switching here on top what setting I want. I can definitely click, for example, portrait mode. The interface of the camera itself is so easy to use. The buttons are very clear. It tells you exactly what it is. It tells you menu settings. You are pressing on what it says. So you definitely don't need to be professional to know what you're pressing or what you're doing with this camera. Just like an iPhone, it's gonna tell you exactly what to do, where to find it. This camera does have an optical zoom, which means in that I can make something look closer than it is without moving the camera at all, okay? It does get very close. Yeah, I need the zoom on this is insane. If you are far from something and wanna get a close shot of that, you definitely will with really good quality. If you are gonna zoom in for taking pictures with this camera, there's gonna be no issue with quality wise. Zooming in will cause no issues with the quality at all, which is really nice to have in a camera. The Canon G7X has full HD video recording, which is really important when it comes to video recording. Again, really helpful with vlogs. It will make whatever you're recording look more professional because of how high quality the camera is. Again, just like the Sony, this one has built in Wi-Fi, meaning that I can connect to my phone and download whatever I have on here on the go. So not only built-in Wi-Fi, but also built-in NFC connectivity, which is basically that I can download whatever I have in here easily with just a tap of a button from the camera and connecting to my phone, and it's downloaded like that. Of course, one of the main reasons that this camera is blowing up right now is the flash. This flash is insane. It makes the photos look amazing. It makes them look like that picture that everyone wants to achieve because the flash just gives such a nice glow, not a ugly flash. You know, not like the ugly pictures that you take with your phone on like Snapchat or something. It's the flash that makes you look like you are getting sh the, like you're getting photographed by like the paparazzi. Even the ones that I take without flash, the quality is insane. It makes me feel like I'm taking a picture with my Canon, the big one, except this one is the small one and the quality is just as amazing. Again, the G7X has advanced shooting modes. There's so many different modes on this camera for whatever you wanna prepare it for. Whether it's you wanna put automatic, which is really helpful, portrait, manual, there's so many things that you could do. There's also the recording one, again, for vlogging. Um, the setting that I use for taking my pictures, which I've been getting so many questions about, is let me just show you guys because it's easier this one you're gonna put it on this and then when you put that setting on you're gonna click the top of this button and you're gonna make sure that it's on single shooting because it's gonna be on the one in the middle then you're gonna click on the flash button make sure that you do have flash on it's gonna give you options to what flash setting you want and you're gonna make sure that it's on always also make sure that your setting which is right here in the corner you can tap on it is on portrait mode because that's what I can that's what's gonna make your pictures look flawless it's gonna make the background blurred and it's gonna make you the center of attention and what's amazing about this is the settings are customizable you can change and tweak whatever you want to match however you want your pictures to look like whether it's again pictures or videos this camera is more high quality into helping you with those videos unlike the Sony more focused on videos not photos this one is both if you're gonna be using this camera you're gonna need similar things to the Sony ZV-1 which are the SD card a microphone very preferable if you're going to be shooting vlogs specifically and of course something extra i like to keep with me is the sd card reader which i connect to my phone and import the pictures and videos directly and so quickly this helps so much now if we had to be realistic and pick one for vlogging for beginner vloggers i would definitely pick the zv1 because it, it's easy to use hello mama hello mother <laughs> For beginner vloggers, I would definitely recommend the ZV-1. It's so easy to use. It does not take a PhD in camera photography to understand it. If you're more advanced in cameras and settings and everything, I would recommend this one because this one, you do have to tweak it a little bit for the videos to come out the way you want it. This one is so automatically already set for you. It's as easy as one, two, three, literally. Moving on to our next camera, which is another trendy camera. It's the Canon PowerShot. This one, you've probably seen everywhere. What's amazing about this one is, just like the Sony ZV-1 and the Canon, this one is even more smaller and much more easier to carry. It is lighter, it is thinner. I can fit this one anywhere. Not only is it light, again, quality and pictures are amazing and so photogenic. The zoom on this is like having a mini telescope with you. Let me show you guys. I'm getting up close and personal with you guys, showing you that. Showing you, literally, like, this is my eye. Do I need to say more? All that zoom without moving an inch, which is what's amazing about this camera. Well, just being right back here. 
Again, this camera is also trending for similar reason to this one because this one does take amazing pictures with flash. Uh, birthday pictures, any pictures that you can imagine with flash, this camera gives it to you. I will also show you pictures with this camera because the pictures with this camera are to die for. This camera, just like the Canon G7X, has full HD video recording, meaning that your pictures and your videos will have such a high quality, which is really nice to have, especially with such a small and light camera. And something that is must needed for me in cameras is the fact that this also has built-in wireless Wi-Fi and NFC connectivity, meaning I can download the pictures and videos anywhere with just connecting it to my phone. Also, this does help with all of these cameras because this is an SD card reader. This one solves all the issues, but these also help because they have, again, built-in Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and NFC connectivity, meaning I can connect it to my phone with just a couple taps and I'm done. Best part, there's no wires, there's no cords, there's no extra hassle that's not necessary. Now, who would I recommend this camera to? Definitely someone who is new in photography or doesn't understand cameras as much as more detailed, high-quality cameras that are harder to use. This one is very easy if you want to take good pictures, but with a smaller size, definitely not too many things going on with it to make it harder for you. As easy as it is, you're still going to get those high quality videos and pictures, which is the best part of it. And don't forget, for all your cameras, you are going to need an SD card. The next camera I have in my collection is the brightest camera I have in my collection, which is the camcorder. It is pink. It is adorable. It is one of my favorites, actually. I feel like a kid when I'm using it. It does remind me of my camera from Toys R Us. That's not the point, though. Um, you do set the date when you first open it so it does do that little thing with the date in the videos and the pictures Which is adorable because that's so aesthetic to me. Let's talk about quality This is the perfect camera if you want that old nostalgic high school um, type of Video, you know, this is gonna give you that type of footage But also take shots for you like pictures another thing is the fact that it's so easy to hold the camera itself the lens is right here the screen is right here it does close like this and it looks like this but as funky as it is it's so comfy and easy to use i can flip the screen all the way to you guys and i can also have it facing me which is really really helpful but if i want to vlog with again old style filming it is possible definitely don't let the age of the camera fool you it has a 10 megapixel sensor which means that the quality is pretty good for its age meaning you can get some pretty good pictures with it this camera also has zoom and it has stabilization so if your hands are shaky this one is pretty good um the zoom again i will show you like i've been doing with all of them this with this like i told you the zoom on this is pretty good the, stabiliz the stabilization on it as well is also pretty good. Do not let the age of this camera fool you. It is amazing. This is my thing with vintage cameras. People underestimate their abilities. While these cameras are literally the reasons we have all these inspos for such amazing pictures. Fan all these pictures that we're like copying, the old vintage pictures, it's all because of these babies. Also, a nice thing on this camera is that it has flash. So even if you want to record some videos with low light settings or take some pictures with the flash, it is available. So you have that option in this camera. This camera also has a slow motion setting. So if you want to add some dramatic effects to this vintage type of vibe, you can get it. Now let's talk about who should get this camera. If you're looking for a old type of vibe, you want to film like an old thing that you want to watch later, uh, or you just want to film like a girl's trip, something like that, this is definitely the camera for you. This is the camera that I think I would recommend to like a group of friends who just want to make a couple memories or you and your fan or you and your family. This one would be perfect. This one is easy to use. Again, still gives you amazing quality and it has a lot of options like the flash, like the zoom, like the stabilization it gives you with again such as old age. But again, again, it's pink. I think what sold me is that it's pink. That's all I needed, if I'm being honest. It's definitely the camera that's gonna make you cry while watching the videos and pictures on here because it has that date and it's just gonna make you feel really old. Moving on to one of my favorite cameras in my collection is my Olympus. This one is probably the biggest one that I have in this collection. Um, it is a little bit heavy, but it does have a handle. I can fit it in most of my bags. It is pretty small in size. It is a good size for like traveling and going wherever I want to. I took this camera with me to my trip to Laila. Probably one of the best decisions I made because the pictures that I got on that trip were amazing. The downfall of what I did though 
it was my first time using a film camera when I took it and I did not know that opening the back of the camera exposes the film meaning if you open this camera like the back and you exp let me show you how <gasps> wait it has film in it as I was saying if you open the back of this in like daylight or light you expose the film ruining all the pictures that you took in here which is kind of what I did on the trip I took so many pictures so many nice pictures this I opened the back on the last day of the trip trying to take out the film not knowing that it would expose it so by the way I didn't know I was in the dark but I didn't know so maybe I did in the light and I didn't know I don't know not the point the point is my pictures got overexposed it ended up looking amazing as you can see but I didn't know that it would do that honestly they told me that when I was doing like when I was developing the pictures they told me that the pictures were just done for so I had no hope honestly in getting those pictures best they managed to save them honestly click did me right they're probably my favorite album of pictures that I do have in my collections this camera's pictures are amazing and I take this camera with me everywhere because the pictures the quality it this is this is just this is just my favorite like I can't even explain how much I like it the the way that the pictures come out is just insane it's honestly beautiful like I just can't I have no words and the best thing about a film camera this camera specifically is that it has flash love pictures with flash by the way and it has like three buttons and all you have to do is just open and shut like literally cheese thing that's it and not open this learn from me this is the Olympus AF10. This is such an iconic camera. The way it still lives up to its iconic photography till this day just says a lot. It's a compact 35mm point and shoot camera. It captures everything I take a picture of with such an authentic raw film aesthetic vibe that you can't you can't edit onto anything, honestly. It has a 3.5 autofocus. Again, the quality of these pictures are insane. The way that the flash and the focus in such an old camera still exists blows my mind and that's why it is a point and shoot camera you point shoot focuses on what you're taking a picture of as i was saying it is really easy to use so it is beginner friendly definitely definitely an easy film camera um there are other film cameras but are they are harder for me to use this one is very easy especially if i'm like giving it to someone to take a picture of me i don't have to explain a lot i'm just like press this button that's it Another impressive thing on this camera, the other button, which is right here, is a self-timer. So if you don't have that person to take a picture of you, you can set it and set the timer, which is honestly a really handy option, by the way, because sometimes you're going to be by yourself and you want that picture and you need that picture, you're going to get it. As old as it is, it is automatic everything from focus to the film rolling to flash to everything. Another thing that's really helpful is it does tell you how many pictures you have left. Each roll has around like 36 pictures you can take the roll meaning the film um so for every picture you take it is going to count down and tell you that you have this many left or this many left who would i recommend this camera to definitely beginners or anyone wanting something with film photography like unlike the other cameras as much as they give such a nice vibe with the flash this one gives that nostalgic very much retro authentic um oldies vibe this one gives you pictures that you would find in your grandma's albums honestly you will definitely need to stock up on films for sure and triple a batteries because it is battery powered the other ones are all battery powered with a rechargeable battery this one is batteries and please 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 do not make the mistake i did and open this making the mistake of opening this risk losing all the picture that you took on this it's not worth it and do not do it just to get an overexposed look like i did that was an like a miracle accident Yini, I don't know how I ended up getting those pictures, honestly. Let's talk about where I get my cameras. I get all my cameras, whether it's the vintage ones or the newer ones from Click.sa. Now, what is Click? What Click does is they find the camera that you're looking for, whether it's a vintage camera that you literally have to dig to the bottom of the earth to find, they will find it. Or if, again, it's a more newer version that's sold out, they will find it for you. They have a diverse selection of camcorders, film cameras, vlog cameras, everything you can imagine they have available. If they don't have it available, they will find it for you, whether it's new hand or second hand. For example, most of the vintage ones you know are second hand because, again, they are vintage. Um, the G7X, they can find it for you new or second hand. A lot of the newer ones are, again, new. The more vintage ones are definitely secondhand. They will literally find you any camera you want, whether it's discontinued from the 2000s, whether it's literally wiped off the face of the earth, they will find it for you. 
and of course what makes them trustworthy is the fact that they will literally make sure that there's minimal scratches minimal defects to the camera that it's fully functional basically practically new that you don't have to worry about any of the damages that it has and most likely it will have none and of course they do a full inspection on each camera before sending it out they make sure everything is functional they also have detailed explanations for each camera available on the website again the same way i explained it to you they have that available on their website they explain what you need what it's for who they recommend it for for all the cameras that you can imagine again they're very transparent about what defects they come with for example if i am getting a second used camera from them they will let me know hey this one does have a scratch is that okay with you it doesn't it doesn't affect the function of the camera the quality is this and this and this um they will let you know again cameras are very delicate so this is very important to have that type of communication to know what is working what is not is it worth it is it not for vintage cameras that they do offer they meticulously inspect them making sure that the buttons and the chargers and everything works not only do they send you the camera by itself the cameras do come with their charger and again you can add the sd reader from them this is where i got it from um again they will find you any camera you want they will dig to the ends of the earth not only that they will send you the battery and the battery charger with it which is amazing and for film cameras they develop them they develop the film for you and they send you the film and again batteries you can get or you can get them from them if you're not asking for a specific camera from them they do have drops meaning they collect certain amounts of vintage cameras and newer cameras and make sure that they have a specific amount before they launch it on the website that they are selling them. So they have a new one tomorrow, 8.30 p.m. By tomorrow, I mean the 14th. So if it is the 14th today of April, they are launching one right now at 8.30 p.m. Set your alarms. They are dropping a new launch. I'm so excited to see what's on there. Uh, maybe I'll get my hands on something new, honestly, because my collection is just the beginning, girl. So they do put their cameras into three different condition categories. First one is mint condition, meaning that the camera is perfect. No scratches, nothing. We're talking about exterior, min barra, what it has. So if it has no scratches, min barra, nothing that looks damaged, that's called mint condition. That's what category they'll have it under. If it does have a couple scratches, a couple little, you know, dents, whatever, it is near mint, meaning it is in perfect condition, fully functional, like it would be if it was new. It just has little, little scratches. Third condition that they have is gold condition, meaning that it is functional. Um, it is pretty damaged from the outside, but it is functional. They do have a highlight on their Instagram showcasing the conditions that they have available of different types of cameras. So if you'd like to go check that out, that's also available on their Instagram. They have all the details on there as well, as well as on their website. With every camera that you purchase from them, they will have a description for the camera before you purchase, of course. And if you do purchase, they will send you all the things that you do need for it that are additional. They will let you know that you need this and this and this and this. They will provide this and this and this for you. Some will cost additionally, some will be provided with the camera itself now to answer the question that i know most of you are going to ask me is where do they ship they ship to all gulf countries so that's what they have available right now anything additional for the cameras you will find on their website um and you can see what cameras need what additional things to purchase any questions that you have any inquiries that you have about any of these cameras or any details about these cameras you can definitely contact them they are very helpful they will help you with everything even when it comes to just needing things for a camera, like I have a Nikon um, Nikon uh, Coolpix camera that I have that's pretty old. I've had since I was like six, but I do not have the battery. So I contacted them about finding a battery for it and a battery charger, and they got right on it, which is amazing, by the way, because they will find you. I'm telling you, they will literally dig deep into depths of the earth and find you whatever camera and whatever equipment you need for those cameras. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, got a lot of education on these cameras, and figured out which camera you want to get for yourself, because I've honestly fell in love with photography since I was little, and if you haven't gotten into it, you definitely should. Um, and if you don't know where to start, Click is definitely the place I recommend. Again, you definitely need at least like a couple of these. Start your collection now, girl, because these cameras are a must. You're gonna wanna, you need to pull these cameras up and take these pictures now and be like look at how hot your grandma was <laughs> like i take pictures like i take videos with my siblings with this camera because i want to like be like look at how you look 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 at how little you were nostalgic 
footage with such like old nostalgic like vibes. Again, if you get anything extra with your cameras, I definitely recommend this. This has helped me download my videos and pictures anywhere. Like even if I take pictures of my friends and they want it like on the spot, I'm like, here you go. Take this. Like I don't need to put my phone on anything. Don't need to wait for my phone back. SD card, put it in. Give them this, download, give it back. Don't forget to turn on your alarms for 8.30 today when the drop is for click. Check out the cameras that they have. Ask them about cameras that you want to get. And I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. If you guys have any more questions about my cameras, let me know. I will be more than happy to explain everything that I did in this video or didn't do in this video. So let me know. Goodbye.